So another a reason or another reason that you can get foot pain or leg pain is nerves, right? Your nerves can get inflamed. They can get angry or pinched or whatever, and it causes a shooting, stabbing, maybe a numbness, tingling, etc. Well, you have to understand that the, those nerves don't just start here. So many times, a lot of folks may think they have neuropathy because they feel pain in their foot, but the problem is upstream. So it could be in their knee. It could be in their glute it could be in their spine and so people have to make sure when you you when you're trying to figure out where the problem is starting you have to, have to make sure somebody's actually talking to you and figuring this out because if all i'm doing is treating if your pain is up river if it's up your leg or if it's in your back and all i'm doing is treating down here i'm missing the boat right and so this is very important to make sure that because if, I'm sure as everyone's ever has heard of sciatica, right? Well, sciatica can happen, you know, at that L5 S1 nerve root. You also have an L4 nerve root that goes down. Sorry, that's going to mess up, but you're going to have an L4 nerve root that's going to get down to that foot as well, right? And so you may have pain at the bottom of the foot and you think plantar fasciitis or you think uh, neuropathy. Meanwhile, it's sciatica. Right, so we have to make sure that we are figuring out what's going on, why it's going on, and also to what needs to be done to get it fixed. So, or at least get you feeling better and maintained after that, right? Because we don't want to manage pain, we want to manage health and function. And so first we get out of pain and then we manage the function so that way you never have to get back into pain. That's why pain management doesn't work because you're always in pain. You're just at a, maybe a two instead of a three or a five or a 10. And all you're doing is mostly, most of the time taking drugs or just getting shots until you're blue in the face. So this is a big deal. You gotta, you know, you can find out if it's sciatic, if it's L4, if it's up there, you need to be treating that area. Now you can treat this area as well to help get symptom relief. And you can be doing it with nutrients, drug, whatever, not drugs, bad drugs, but there are good, Never mind. we'll get into that another time. But there are a lot of things that you can do to help to reduce this type of pain down that lower in that foot, lower leg, et cetera. But you have to go upstream because of that sciatica. But also too, you gotta understand that those nerves can be at damage down here. So just make sure that whoever is taking care of you, that they're looking at everything, that they're talking through this because you can have sciatica, you can have a failed back surgery. If any of you have ever had fusions in your back or laminectomies in your lower lumbar spine, Many times the scar tissue will actually redevelop over time and start to damage those nerves and then you end up in the same boat. That's why we try to prevent surgeries as much as we can because we want to reduce the amount of scar tissue that's going to be in that area as much as possible. And so what we want to do is we want to figure out what is the cause, where is it, is it at the top of the foot, is it the bottom of the foot, is it in the heel, is it down the back of the leg, is it coming around the side of the leg, all of these are indicators of what nerve or what nerves may be affected so that way we can figure out what areas truly need to be helped and taken care of and try to regain the function of those areas whether that's increased oxygenation increased blood flow increased motion or all of the above so understand that nerve pain doesn't always mean neuropathy nerve pain can also mean sciatica which is the l5 s1 nerve or L4 nerve root, et cetera, et cetera. So you gotta make sure you know where the problem is coming from so you know how to take care of it.